Welcome, Dr. Glenn Swart out here. We're going to talk this time about the transpersonal space, the transcending of self. Vision is transcendent in its nature, but now in our interaction and, and relationship, if we look at, at two human beings sharing space, we have a situation where there's another dynamic that there's now an object in your visual field that has vision as well. So the, 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 the personal space, the interpersonal space, the social tribal space is, is a, another key level in develop, developing our vision. Uh, we know, we notice that when uh, we work with people developing their vision, we see changes in personality quite often of how we begin to relate more freely, more easily, more openly with other, other people. Uh, and it's a natural consequence of the fact that we are visual beings, that 90% of what we're learning is visual. We know the research on communication is that only about 10% of of the communication, of the meaning we get out of communication with other people is from the actual words that are being used. There's so much communication in tonality, about emotion, about what's going on inside us. There's so much in the movement and gesture and, and, and expression, facial expression, posture, that tells us about what's going on in that other, other being. So in the social realm, we're still in the in the same sphere as the, the, the visual navigation, but it's the social navigation. Uh, it's like picture one sphere that goes through the, the eyes, this uh, brow chakra, and the, the second chakra down here in the, in the lower belly. It's a sphere centered on the heart, and it's, so it's one, really one unified function, but, but there's this receptive aspect of receiving the visual information as feedback to our actions and planning and integrating with the planning of our actions that helps us navigate the space-time continuum. And then there's the expressive part of the uh, as social beings of how we, how we join and, and, and unite with other beings, uh, uh, reproduction, uh, socialization, family, community, very crucial functions. It's, it's an essential element of who we are, and it's expressive in, in nature primarily when it's functioning in in, in its uh, healthy healthy mode. Let's say. So notice how your vision is when you're with other people. If you're a person who gets stressed around other people, can you bring in awareness of your peripheral vision, of your breathing, of your heart-centered internal awareness? Of your of your thinking that 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 allow your thinking to be more image and visually based and not just thinking in words, which is much more constrained and constricted in terms of the amount of information that can flow per unit time. So see, I see, I understand. You know, I I'm thinking in words. I can be easily confused. I can be get into worry. I don't see the solution. When we see the solution, we see there's multiple solutions, we stop worrying, we get out of our heads, and we're still, there's that head-based awareness of the sensorium, but it's also grounded in the heart, which unites us with all of the organs, all the emotions. Okay, so be aware of that, notice, use your internal awareness to make these adjustments and corrective developmental choices. And we'll talk soon.